be the ones that we're going to work in the 3D system. So um, it's once again, I'll have to go to the document properties to claim a revision for this document, use the revision scheme that I have decided to use and create a revision. This is done. Then I can close the, the document. Successful. And then I will publish it the same way as I have done with the I.O. list. Now, uh, after this uh, is uh, done, I will pass the, um, once again, to the instrumentation user, in this case, Efren, who will demonstrate, uh, following this workflow, how he gets the information from Smart Plan Electrical into uh, Smart Plan instrumentation. Thank you. And uh, after that, uh, to the 3D user, uh, the 3D engineer or designer, in this case, uh, Santos, uh, who will uh, retrieve the cables and then will route them into the 3D system. Okay, so now that the document has been published successfully, let's go now to SPI again and see what we can retrieve from, from a smart plan electrical, okay? So let's go to a smart plan, retrieve. And now we should get here the, um, the IO list. Okay, so now we have here the document to be retrieved. That is the IO list coming from a smart plan electrical. So we only have to select it and click OK. And now the adapter is creating uh, some elements coming from Smart Plan Electrical like the MCC, uh, circuits, uh, the signals, and those signals, the intention is to be wired to the DCS. Okay, once the document is successfully retrieved, we have to go again to the to-do list to see what we have. So as you can see now, we have some elements coming from the, from the electrical application. So we have the cabinet, that's the MCC, we have some circuit, and we have the signals, we have the motor pump, so I will select everything to be created. So I will select everything and execute. So now it's creating, as you see, the MCC, and then we create the signals and the circuits and so on. So the process now is finished. Let's see the results. So if we go to um, electrical tax, we have all the signals coming from uh, Smart Plan Electrical. If we go to electrical equipment, we have the power distribution board, okay? We have the circuits, and we have the signals that belong to the specific circuit. The rest of the workflow is just to create the terminal strip and assign some cables and wire to the DCS. So we can see that uh, in detail during the smart plan instrumentation uh, standalone session. Okay. So now let's go back to Smart Plan 3D to see how the cables can be routed in the application. So now we're back at the Smart Plan 3D application, and while a friend was working on SPI, I retrieved the cable schedule that Julian published on a Smart Plan uh, Electrical. So if I switch to my electrical task, I'm going to have on my Smart Plan 
menu, the view cable schedule option instead of the view PNID option I had on, on piping. So let's select, we open that cable schedule and we'll see a list of all the cables that belong to that cable schedule. From those cables, I will select the two that belong to the motors of the pumps and that are um, rooted from the MCC1 device that um, Julian created. I process those cables. Those cables are going to be created on a smart plan 3D. Once those cables are processed, and I'll select these, so these, process, these cables are correlated, um, I can hover over these cables and you see the cable actually it's been it's automatically placed from the front uh, element to the two element I have the two cables one from one each pump so what I'm going to do now is for each of these cables I will select to edit the cable path so I'm going to select this cable I'll accept. Now he's asking me for an entry point of the cable. I will select this and you see it goes on the tray. I'll accept that. He asked me for the exit point for the cable. So, and it rolls from the exit point to the pump. I'll finish. That cable is done. I can select that cable now, go properties, and uh, I will have the way of the cable set up. I will have the length of the cable. I'll do the same for the second cable. If I do properties here, you will see that this is not set up because it's not been wrote yet. So I'll do the same process. I select the cable. I select the entry point. I select the exit point. So after that, it goes to the pump, I finish, my cable is routed, and I'll be able to view the properties of the cable, which now include the length and the weight. And that concludes our uh, integration presentation, um, where we show how the information flows between the engineering tools and we input the information only once and we use that, reuse that data from the PNAD, uh, which is the center of the information, to all the rest of the applications, smart plan instrumentation, smart plan electrical, and smart plan 3D to define all the engineering data. Thank you very much.